Good morning everyone. I am Tishita from 4th ECE. In this presentation, I am going to give you a brief description on lossy predictive coding. Let's see the introduction on lossy predictive coding. Processing of digital images involve procedures that are usually expressed in algorithmic form due to which most of image processing functions are implemented in software. It deals with the manipulation of images. The image signal may be either digital or analog. There are a wide range of image processing operations. In addition to photography, the field of digital imaging has created a whole range of new applications and tools that were previously impossible. Face recognition software, medical image processing and remote sensing are all possible due to the development of digital image processing. Specialized computer programs are used to enhance and correct images. Every day, a huge amount of information is stored processed and transmitted because much of this information is in the form of pictures and graphs in nature the storage and communication requirements are very large now let's see the terms involved in this lossy predictive coding image compression which refers to the problem of reducing the data requirements to represent a digital image the term data compression means the process of reducing the amount of data required to represent a given quantity of information. So there are two types of image compression, lossy image compression and lossless image compression. Various amount of data can be used to represent the same information. Data might contain elements that provide no relevant information is called data redundancy. As said earlier, there are two types of compression, lossless compression and lossy compression. Lossless compression involves compressing data which when decompressed will be an exact replica of the original data. This is the case when binary data such as executables, documents which we use are compressed. They need to be exactly reproduced when decompressed. Coming to the lossy compression, it is a data encoding method that compresses data by discarding some of it. We lose some information in this compression, hence called lossy compression. This procedure aims to reduce the amount of data that needs to be transmitted by a computer. In case of lossy image compression, when decompressed, will not be an exact replica of the original image. For lossless image compression, we are using predictive coding. Compression techniques are of three types. Dictionary coding, entropy coding, and predictive coding. There are some major disadvantages of the first two types, so we are focusing on the predictive coding, which is a simpler technique. Predictive coding is an approach that achieves good compression without significant overload. It is based on eliminating the interpixel redundancies of the closely spaced pixels by extracting and coding only the new information in each pixel. The new information of a pixel is defined as the difference between the actual and predicted value of that pixel. In this method, several previously coded pixels are used to form a prediction of the current pixel. The better the prediction, the smaller the error signal and the more efficient the coding system. At the decoder, the same prediction is produced using previously decoded pixels and the received error signal is added to reconstruct the current pixel. Predictive coding is commonly referred to as differential pulse code modulation, which is DPCM. This can take many forms depending on the design of the predictor and the quantizer blocks. The predictor can use a linear or a non-linear function of the previously decoded pixels. It can be either 1D or 2D or it can be fixed and adaptive. A block diagram of a predictive coding system is depicted in these figures. The first figure shows the encoder and the second figure shows the decoder which has predictor blocks respectively. Let's see the detailed description of the predictive coding in the next slide. Lossy predictive coding is an extension of the idea of lossless predictive coding. Figure 8.33 shows the basic components of a predictive coding system. In this figure, we can see that there is a symbol encoder which also consists of a predictor. As successive samples of discrete time input signal f of n are introduced to the encoder, the predictor generates the anticipated value of each sample based on a specific number of pass samples. The output of the predictor is then rounded of the nearest integer f dash of n, which is denoted as f dash of n, and it is used to form the difference or prediction error. 
We have seen before the lossless predictive encoding which consists of a predictor at both encoder side and decoder side. Now let's see about the lossless predictive coding. The below figure shows the quantizer which replaces the nearest integer function of the error free encoder. The only difference between the lossless and lossy predictive coding is that the lossless predictive coding does not have a quantizer but the lossy predictive coding has a quantizer which replaces the nearest integer function of the error free encoder and this quantizer is inserted between the symbol encoder and the point at which the prediction error is formed. What it does is it maps the prediction error into a limited range of outputs which is denoted by e dash of n which establishes the amount of compression and distortion that occurs. In the last slide, we discussed about the encoder component of lossy predictive coding. Let us now discuss about the decoder component of lossy predictive coding. In order to accommodate the insertion of the quantization step, which we did in the encoder component, the error-free encoder must be altered so that the predictions generated by the encoder and the symbol decoder are equivalent. As shown in the figure, this is accomplished by placing the lossy encoder's predictor within the feedback loop where its input denoted by f dish of n is generated as a function of past predictions and the corresponding quantized errors. We can write f of n is equal to e dash of n plus f dash of n from the diagram. This closed loop configuration prevents error buildup at the decoder's output which is the decompressed sequence. Let us consider an example with the values 23, 64, 39, 47, 55 and 63. These are all the values present in a pixel. In the predictive coding would be for 23 it would be 23. For 64 the present value minus previous value which is 64 minus 23 that is equal to 41. Similarly for 39 it would be minus 25 and for 47, 55 and 63 it would be 8 respectively. In this example we can see that a maximum of 5 bits is required. But this creates a problem of overloading because it means if you quote 41, we need 6 bits for this plus 1 additional sign bit which is equal to 7 bits. So 6 pixels into 7 bits which is equal to 42 bits which is a problem. As said earlier, a maximum of 5 bits is required for 23, 39, 47, 55 and 63. So 5 bits are required plus 1 sign bit which is equal to 6. This is for 5 pixels. What are those 5 pixels is 23, 39, 47, 55 and 63. In case of lossy predictive coding, we can take precautions like highest value is 31. It means for 5 bits the highest value is 31. So instead of 41, if we take 31 in this case, which leads to a information loss. So drastically it reduces the number of bits. Also the loss of information will be increased. So number of bits required are same as the original scheme itself. This results in lossy compression. Finally, 6 into 6 that is equal to 36 bits are required for this predictive coding. As we have seen in the example, this process can be further extended by using only one bit to encode the difference between the adjacent pixels. This scheme is known as delta modulation. So it goes one step further by using only one bit for the representation of the quantized error value. It means this can be either positive or negative. Like the output which we obtain in the example minus 25. It may be positive or negative. Therefore predictor is defined as f dash of n is equal to alpha into f of n minus 1. Where alpha is the prediction coefficient. Generally for the first digit f dash of n is equal to f dash of n minus 1. As we have seen. The first pixel is 23 and the corresponding predictive coding value is also 23. Now how is the error computed? Error can be computed either by f of n minus f dash of n or f of n minus f dash of n minus 1 which is the present value minus the predicted value. Error is quantized as e of n is equal to plus epsilon for e of n greater than 0. It is minus epsilon else. So here epsilon is a positive quantity. Now when this epsilon varies or you can call it as psi whatever the constant it is known as an adaptive delta modulation scheme. That's all about the predictive coding which is lossy. Thank you. Thank you.